Remember when tablets were just oversized phones? Those days are gone. Today we've got hulking 14.6-inch slabs trying to replace laptops and whisper-thin iPads that aim to outpace everything. In this video, I'll show you which one actually replaces a laptop. Samsung's Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra or Apple's iPad Pro with the M4. Stick around till the end because I'll recommend the exact model and accessory combo for students, creatives, and power users. And I'll reveal one hidden setting that makes either of them feel a lot more like a real computer. Tablets used to be portable media devices. Now the conversation is, do you want a giant canvas to create on or a razor-thin tool that just doesn't get in the way? The decision isn't just about inches. It's about what you do every day. Editing timelines, sketching, coding, or binge-watching on the couch. In this video, I'll measure those trade-offs. Portability, comfort, screen real estate, and how each device changes your workflow. We'll test the display with HDR content push both through heavy editing and gaming, and break down which ecosystem actually saves you time. If you're buying a tablet to replace a laptop, this section alone will change how you think about bigger versus better. First impressions matter. The Tab S11 Ultra feels like a slim laptop. 326 by 208 millimeters, roughly 700 grams, and 5.1 millimeters thin. That weight and footprint mean it sits on a desk like an OLED sketchbook. Solid, not fragile. And the S Pen now snaps to the side where it's useful instead of hiding under the back. Apple takes the opposite tack. The iPad Pro M4 is thinner and lighter, crafted to disappear when you carry it. The new 13-inch M4 model still manages to be narrow and deceptively light with the front camera moved to the landscape edge, a simple change that makes video calls far more natural. The takeaway. If you carry it every day, the iPad's thinner profile wins for comfort. If you use it mostly at a desk or for long sketching sessions, the tab's heft and size become advantages because the display gives you real working room. Size versus peak performance is the core display argument. Samsung's 14.6-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X is a canvas, punchy colors, deep blacks, and an enormous surface for timelines or split-screen work. It runs at 120 Hz and Samsung advertises very high peak brightness, the kind that keeps HDR content readable, even in bright rooms. Because the tablet is so big, pixel density drops compared to smaller devices, but on a surface this size that usually doesn't matter for everyday viewing. Apple, on the other hand, uses the new Tandem OLED Ultra Retina XDR, essentially a stacked OLED design that cranks up brightness and HDR contrast while keeping micro-dimming tight. In practical terms, HDR footage pops more on the iPad Pro, with better shadow detail and slightly higher perceived contrast. But the tab wins when you need sheer workspace. Editing timelines, reference panels, or side-by-side -side apps feel more natural. If your priority is the absolute best HDR and contrast, iPad edges it. If you want the biggest, most immersive canvas, Samsung takes the crown. Numbers tell a story, but real tasks tell the whole story. Apple's M4 is a powerhouse in both single-core and multi-core workloads. Benchmarks show major gains over previous iPad chips. And in real editing sessions, the M4 chews through multicam timelines and heavy color grades with no hiccups. It's also incredibly efficient. Sustained workloads rarely trigger thermal throttling. Samsung's Tab S11 Ultra uses the MediaTek Dimensity 9400+, a 3 nanometer class chip that punches well above its weight. GPU-heavy tasks like some modern mobile games and GPU-accelerated filters run impressively. In certain graphics tasks, the Immortalis GPU actually surprises. But when you load both into prolonged, pro-level editing sessions, the M4's headroom and unified memory advantage show. The practical takeaway, for raw, sustained pro performance, iPad Pro is the safer option. For superb graphics and excellent day-to-day -day speed, the Tab is a very capable challenger, especially if you need the extra screen real estate. This is where the experience diverges. 
Samsung leans into productivity with DeX, which turns the tablet into a desktop-like environment with multi-window support, drag-and-drop between apps, and multiple customizable workspaces. It's flexible and rewards people who like to tinker and tailor their workflows. Samsung also bundles AI features, drawing assist, handwriting conversion, and integrated search features, and pledges long update windows. iPad OS, meanwhile, isn't trying to be a desktop clone. It's polished, cohesive, and supported by a pro-grade app ecosystem. Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Procreate, and mature creative tools that have been optimized for years. Those apps don't just exist on iPad. Many of them are best-in-class experiences you won't find on Android in the same way. If your job depends on niche pro apps, iPad OS will likely save you time. If you want a more PC-like, flexible environment with lots of tweakability, Samsung's software environment is closer to a laptop. Accessories transform tablets from toys to tools. Samsung includes the S Pen in the box, low latency, high pressure sensitivity, and a pencil-like grip that's great for sketching or annotating. The side magnetic attach makes it handy. Apple separates the Pencil Pro and the Magic Keyboard, and that's where you feel the Apple tax. But their accessories are refined. Pencil Pro adds squeeze gestures and a barrel roll input that artists will appreciate and the Magic Keyboard's floating hinge and larger trackpad make the iPad feel eerily like a laptop for many tasks. Samsung's keyboard options are functional, and you can reuse last-gen covers, but they lack the same floating refinement. Bottom line, Samsung gives you the stylus for free, which is huge for creators on a budget. Apple sells a more polished accessory ecosystem that, when combined, can create a near-laptop experience if you're willing to pay. Spec sheets don't always predict how a device behaves across a full day. Battery life depends on usage, streaming video, editing, gaming, or sitting idle with background processes. In mixed real-world tests, streaming HDR videos, a couple of hours of editing, and some gaming, both tablets hold up for a full workday, but their strengths differ. The iPad Pro's M4 efficiency shines during heavy CPU tasks. It maintains higher performance for longer without heating. Samsung's larger display can be more demanding under very bright HDR playback, but if you're using the tab mostly for passive consumption or mixing lighter productivity, the battery will still comfortably last you through a long session. Charging speeds and power management also matter. Check the charger bundle and real-life charging times for the higher capacities you plan to buy. If you travel a lot and need sustained high performance on the road, the iPad's efficiency is a real advantage. Price changes the calculus. Samsung's Tab S11 Ultra starts at $1,199 for 256GB with 12GB of RAM and includes the S Pen in the box, a big plus for creators. Apple's iPad Pro starts at $999 for the 11-inch 256GB model and jumps for the 13-inch. Add Pencil Pro and Magic Keyboard, and the total can easily exceed $2,000 for the top-tier combos. The true question is value for your needs. If you want a giant display and bundled stylus for creative work, Samsung is competitive. If you want the fastest chip, the best HDR display by a hair, and a deep app ecosystem, Apple commands the premium. Think in scenarios. A student or note taker may find the tab's included stylus and screen size unbeatable. A professional editor or musician who relies on Final Cut or Logic will likely treat the iPad as an investment in a workflow that pays dividends. So, which should you buy? Get the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra if you want the biggest working surface, an included S Pen, and a flexible desktop-like environment. It's the best choice for artists who want space to sketch, students who annotate PDFs on a big display, or anyone who values screen real estate for multitasking. Get the iPad Pro M4 if raw, sustained performance, and the Pro App ecosystem matter to you. If you edit video, produce music, or need the absolute snappiest performance with polished Pro apps, the iPad will save you time and headaches. If you're torn, consider how much you'll rely on specific apps. If Final Cut, Logic, or Procreate are essential, go iPad. If you prefer a desktop-like multitasking setup and want a stylus included, 
Tab S11 Ultra is a smarter buy. If you want my exact picks, I pinned three quick buy recommendations in the top comment with SKU suggestions and accessory combos for students, creatives, and heavy editors. Check that first. If you'd like, I can also make a follow-up deep dive showing an export timeline, drawing demo, and a DEX versus. Stage Manager Workflow Comparison Tell me which test you want in the comments. Hit like if this helped, subscribe for more hands-on comparisons, and ring the bell so you don't miss the follow-up tests. Thanks for watching. And remember, a bigger screen is only an advantage if it actually makes your work easier.